We all know breakup pain is tough. It's messy and it's honestly, well, honestly, it can feel downright unbearable at times. But what if I told you that this pain isn't just something to get through, but a stepping stone to something even greater? Well, today we are unpacking seven science-backed ways to not only survive a breakup, but to actually grow and become better from it. Starting with number one, ask yourself better questions. Look, most breakup survivors, they groan and they whine about how life's not fair, and they keep asking themselves these really dumb and disempowering questions like, why does this happen to me? Or, this isn't fair, right? Why do I have to suffer? Or, how did I let this happen? Instead of doing this, which will definitely prolong your recovery, and keep you miserable, you want to ask yourself questions like, what can I learn from this? What can I do to better my situation? How can I make this breakup the best thing that ever happened to me? As for the second way to grow from your pain, from your breakup pain, it's to rebuild your belief system. So let me illustrate this through a nice little metaphor. So you want to imagine that one day you, by complete accident, knock a treasured vase off its perch. It smashes into a bazillion tiny pieces, right? Now, what do you do? Do you try and put the vase back together as it was? Or do you pick up the pieces and build something, something new with them, such as like a colorful mosaic? The thing is, like the vase held together by glue and sticky tape, those who try to put their lives back together exactly as they were post-breakup, they remain fractured and vulnerable. And those who accept the breakage and build themselves up anew, well, they become more resilient and open to new, better, more compatible ways of living. So what I'm saying is that the secret to getting over any adversity is to know that you cannot put the vase back together that being your life, you cannot put it back together exactly as it was. But instead, you can start to use the pieces to build a new mosaic, to build a new life with new sources of meaning, a new narrative entirely. Moving on to the third way of dealing with breakup pain, it's to prepare for the worst. Meaning, envision everything that could go wrong in a certain situation. Because this will help you anticipate the worst and mentally and strategically prepare for it. The thinking goes that if you could be comfortable with the worst, then everything else would be a pleasant or maybe even a neutral surprise. Now here's how this looks like in practice. I want you to make a plan for yourself that if, for example, your ex reaches out tomorrow and you get extremely upset, perhaps even fall back into depression, in that case, you will A, quickly block them and B, quickly call up your therapist, schedule an appointment and proceed to healing that way. So basically always have a plan for the worst things that can happen and try your best to stick to it. As for way number four to deal with breakup pain, it's all about staying centered. In essence, do not exaggerate your emotions. So here's what I mean by this. Breakup survivors, well, they often fall into three categories. Those who overestimate their positive emotions and become, as a result, delusionally optimistic and poor decision makers. Then there's those who overestimate their uh, negative emotions and they start seeing life as being unfairly harsh and they become these perpetual cynics. And then there's those who remain centered. Those who basically are not swayed excessively towards optimism or pessimism. Now your aim should be to be centered, to be this balanced person, to have this balanced approach to help you avoid the pitfalls of distorted thinking, whether overly positive or negative. As for the fifth way about dealing with breakup pain, it's all about accepting that breakup pain. And look, here's a tough pill to swallow. The more you avoid something unpleasant, uncomfortable, 
the more it will persist, and the more unpleasant and uncomfortable it will make you feel. Therefore, the more you avoid dealing with your breakup pain through, let's say, video games, sex, drugs, work, whatever, the larger it will grow. So since there is no solution, just accept the pain. Now this means you admit to yourself that the breakup happened, that it's traumatic, and that you are clearly suffering. Then you stop fighting back. Besides, as a wise man once said, pain is an inextricable thread in the fabric of life, and to attempt to tear it out is not only impossible, but even destructive, because attempting to tear it out unravels literally everything else with it. Now moving along to way six of dealing with breakup pain, it's all about creating meaning in suffering. So here's what I mean by this. Fundamentally, a breakup is just a shitty thing that happened to you and that you are upset about. It's then the meaning you construct around it that makes it either a gift or a curse. For example, because of a breakup, you could make yourself believe you are an unworthy uh, person and a bad partner. Or you could make yourself believe that you've only made a few mistakes like we all do, and it has nothing to really do with you on an identity level. As you'd expect, tying your breakup with a disempowering meaning as I shared initially, it makes you miserable, it makes you more upset, it makes you sometimes delusionally negative, it makes you overestimate negative emotions. On the other hand, tying your breakup with an empowering meaning, well, it marshals you towards happiness and personal growth, it gets you unstuck, it makes you more resilient, more realistic about the whole thing. See, one obviously do the latter, not the former. Another way to think about this is by reframing the story you tell yourself about your breakup into one that leads to positive outcomes instead of one that leads to negative outcomes. Like, try to do this consistently and you are sure as shit going to feel better. As for our final way of dealing with breakup pain, it's all about enjoying the chaos. Now, this will sound pretty weird, but try to find some sick pleasure in your suffering, for even though it hurts right now, this pain will very likely make you a better, more resilient, more psychologically developed, emotionally developed person in some shape, way, or form later on, so in the future. Put another way, I just want you to identify a bit with your pain and with your determination to actually overcome it. I want you to be proud of your persistence, your drive to grow personally and recover from this breakup. Whenever in pain, I want you to, as cheesy as it sounds, I want you to lean into it and think, yeah, choke me, bitch, fucking choke me. I want you to find your inner masochist. I want you to get a sick pleasure of your pain and then leverage that to heal your heart and grow into a better version of yourself. Again, a totally sick idea, but just try it out. Let it be an experiment. Maybe even write down in the comments about how it goes. Give it a shot, and I think that you will not regret it. So that's all from my side. If you want even more tips and advice and ideas and breakup recovery, then you should download my recovery cheat sheet, link in the description, down below this video. With that said, thanks for watching and take care.